This is already here. We live. We are live, sir. Go ahead. We are live. What's going on, people, tonight? It's your boy, Mill Hustles. I haven't been on here in a while because I've been super busy, but we had to set some time aside to talk about what's going on in the world of retail with Walmart's closing, Sam's closing, and the ultimate Amazon effect 2018. What's up, John? What's up, brother? Just getting off of uh, Target, which seems to be in good uh, good light right now. They, yes. Uh, apparently, they're they're going to be trying to get bought by Amazon, which would be pretty dope, I think. I mean, I don't know what you guys think, but I, I mean, the Amazon effect. What is the Amazon effect, man? Everything going digital. Nothing. We're not needing human interaction anymore. Mm. You know. Bring I mean, they still need to deliver. deliver. <laughs> But still, they are on a roll, bro. Do you know that uh, uh, the owner is the richest man in the world right now? I know. Like, just oh, officially, like, he's number one right now. And, I mean, he's winning. He's winning. And the thing about it is what this guy is doing, he's buying up little tech companies, websites, e-commerce stores, or... He's taking the formula of something that's original and successful, and he's adding his um, seasoning to it. You know what I mean? Right. And when you got money you. like like he does, you oh, know, that's... you can do yeah. any of that stuff. Mm hmm. You know, let's let's dive into it real quick. Um, I took a couple of notes earlier today when we were speaking. Have you? When's the last time you looked on Amazon's uh, Wikipedia page? I haven't, bro, in a long time. Okay, let's look this up. Hold on. Well, this is definitely an interesting topic to me. Little John is a little bit upset right now, so I might have to mute the mute the, my side for a minute just to kind of calm him down. Okay, bro, go ahead and take over for a little bit. I'm gonna calm him down I mean, so everybody doesn't hear him crying. This company has so many subsidiaries, it's crazy. You know, they own like 20 bookstores. They own they they host a bunch of different websites like like target.com used to be ran by Amazon. Did you know that? It's crazy. Um they got this new thing called Amazon Amazon Prime now where if you live in a particular city, you can get pretty much anything delivered to you within two hours. Amazon Prime Go, where you walk into a grocery store, you scan, you grab whatever, and just leave. Like, this is going to kill the brick and mortar. And, you know? Yeah, RJ will be here in a second, but this is what I'm talking about. A lot of the traditional brick and mortar stores are in danger, and either they're going to adapt or they're going to go out of business. And Amazon is just buying everything. No, Anthony, they they are the largest, but Amazon is right on their tail. And nobody said they're going out of business. I'm saying a lot of people are going out of business. You know, yeah, and I was talking about like Sam's clubs and you know marketplaces and all that stuff. You know what I'm saying? Well, you know, it's a question, well, basically. Yeah, I mean, in their case, um, it's probably better for Walmart because I'm pretty sure most of their stores are profitable. But at the end of the day, if they close the ones that are not too profitable and keep a particular amount of employees, it's just going to make them even more money. Yeah, what's up? What's up? What's up, everyday bro, tech? What's up, Robert me. Allen? Thank you for joining in. You cannot tell me, bro, that the convenience that Amazon is providing is inconveniencing the traditional store. Oh, absolutely, dude. I see. I see it at Target, man. It's like, I mean, at Target, bro. If if you need any other case except a uh, a Samsung or an iPhone, you got to go on Amazon. Like you literally. That's where you go. You go to Amazon or you go to eBay or whatever. And nobody likes eBay apparently, so they go to Amazon. Uh, I don't know why you know eBay is awesome. I love eBay. I like eBay better than Amazon. But either way, um, when you got services like Prime Go, 
you know, the little groceries. I mean, I mean, prime now, bro, tell me this. If let's say you're sitting at home and you need dish soap or something and you go on Amazon, uh, prime now, and it's the same price or close to it as it is at Walmart, it'll cost you the same to get into a vehicle or get into a bus and drive there, but they can deliver it to you within two hours. Oh yeah, bro. I know. I've been saying this forever, bro. As like when when it first came, like when it first started, bro. Like even like you know, for us, uh, even this can even go back to the tech market, man. There's you know cell phone cases, bro. Remember when we used to sell cell phone cases like crazy, man? Everybody that used to come into the store, bro, used to buy a cell phone case from Boost, Metro, Cricket. Now what do they say? Oh, I'm going on eBay. Oh, I'm going on Amazon. You know what I'm saying? No, they don't even give it a second thought. Not only that, whenever it's an, uh, an expensive phone or a mid-range or higher budget price, they'll be like, you know what? Just give me the cheapest one you got right now, and I'll order a good one from Amazon. Yep. You know? Um, not only that, dude, you know, Walmart is an awful place to work at. Um, yeah, I worked there. You worked there, too. I, at the, at, and CV Tech there. worked there, too, bro. I was there through a it was so I was there through a temporary agency, so it wasn't officially through Walmart. And all they had us do was help restock an overstock mess of a store. But I hated it. Um, but either way, there's people, you know, that they'll be like, God, there's such awful customer service, and it's not easy getting good customer service at Walmart. And I don't blame them because fucking sucks working there. But um And everybody hates working there, bro. Like everybody hates their job, bro. Like like literally, like it's so hard to be positive at that in that work environment, bro. Everybody hates working there. Everybody hates clocking in. Everybody's just ready to go. Like yeah. I work at Target, bro. Oh. Yo, it's so positive, bro. Everybody really likes actually being there, bro. Nobody's like, damn, I hate my job. Man, I want to quit. Man, I wish I wasn't here. You know what I'm saying? Everybody's like, damn, you know, they actually like working. You know, they actually well, like coming in. They well, barely call well, out. Target also attracts a different kind of clientele. Um, but if you sit there and observe, cause I worked at target tech myself, it's the same thing as Walmart. It's understaffed, overworked, uh, clueless management a lot of the times, but the skin that is filtering the store, the company, it's the same thing. Except the customer service part. As far as I, I'm, I'm referring to employees working there because I know plenty of employees that don't like working there. But you know, you got to remember, no job is perfect. We get that. But at the end of the day, man, if you all you had to do was pull up to the curb or just hit click one button purchase and you get your dish soap, you get your toilet paper, you get whatever delivered to you in two hours for about the same price as you get it going to the store. What are you going to select? And you don't have to deal with the rude people and then employees don't have to deal with you either. But at the end of the day, this is a case of the bad guy winning because there's a lot of really bad customers out there. And then the employee who has to put up with your crap is going to be out of a job. True, man. My man, I got, man, there's like horrible, bro. There's horrible customers, man. Customers are not always right, bro. They just come in with the stinkiest. Yeah. 2018 that, that, uh, that saying customer always right is dead. I see more and more employees rightfully standing up for themselves against ridiculous customers and they should continue doing that. But yeah, I mean, okay, bro. Hold on. Give me one second, bro. Shay Kennedy. What's up? Oh my golly. Wow. Hey man. Hey bro. I really you know, need you to uh, send that, you know, that info info whenever you can, bro. From now on. And I forgot your email. I think I got your email somewhere. I just can't remember it. So, I'll be uh, hitting you up in the in the DMs or the emails. So thank you for sharing that info, bro. Uh, oh yeah, like we don't we know that Walmart is it's gonna it's gonna take a really big hit for Walmart to go out of business. That's almost impossible, but Amazon will hit them hard. Oh but yeah, and if they time, take over this target that they want to do, bro, that's gonna yeah, be time, a crazy yeah, acquisition. You know, Walmart. At the all, absolutely. If they if they uh, acquired Target somehow, then Walmart would be in a lot of trouble, a whole lot of trouble. Give okay, guys. Give me a thumbs up if you actually enjoy 
your experience at Walmart. Like you actually enjoy going in, getting that same shopping cart that's rattly, getting that same stinky attitude. Give me a thumbs up if you actually like going to Walmart. Give me a thumbs down if you just go there just to get cheap prices and get out of there real quick. So give me a thumbs up if you like Walmart, if you love Walmart and you love the whole experience or give me a thumbs down if you just go there because it's cheaper, cheaper prices, but you put up with the crap every time you go there. John Miller, I want to know how Walmart, Walmart bought jet.com. And that's a pretty, that was a pretty big acquisition because jet.com has a lot of uh, competitive pricing as well. However, jet to Amazon. I mean, come on, that's an ant to a sledgehammer. You know, yeah. Target bought shipped recently. That was a pretty big uh, acquisition. I believe. It's I have never shipped. heard of shipped. I've never heard of shipped. It's like it's it's something. It's something they do. It's basically like a shipping company. Basically. Hmm. See, look at that. Everybody, look. See, look. Everybody's just like. Everybody just goes just because it's like, the pricing. But nobody actually loves going to Walmart. I hate Walmart, man. Like. I cannot stand standing in those lines, bro. The people just like, oh my god, bro. It's yeah. just like everything is just I hate experience, bro. Guys, so look, much. Y'all people put yourself through that. Exactly, Ray. Target price matches Walmart. There's no need to go to Walmart. You know, I mean, maybe Walmart has other stuff, more stuff than they do, especially in electronic wise, but when it comes to everyday needs, you know. You can get it at Target for about the same price and in better quality. But um, everybody's trying to adapt, but Amazon is so like technologically advanced. I mean, the 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 founder guy is a com he has a degree in computer science and engineering. Oh, yeah, man, those registers, bro. Oh, those long lines, bro. And my wife, she complains every time. And I'm like, honey, we've been doing this for years. What do you expect? It's never going to change. Yes, we're going to get a little bit cheaper pricing in here, but it's always, always, always the lines are going to be really long. And, you know, Amazon, they could potentially make the, uh, the self-checkout experience a lot easier and better. I'm not defending Amazon, dude, but they're going to make a lot of changes that are going to affect a lot of people, you know? Yeah. And like I said, they own so much. Like, I'm surprised that they, I, I know there's certain people calling them a monopoly, um, antitrust, this and that. But like, the thing is, is that they offer good pricing on a lot of stuff. And like I said earlier, Amazon, Amazon convenience is going to inconvenience a lot of people. Yeah, well, let's see. Walmart, Walmart has, has scan, scan and go, go back. Uh, you can scan the groceries, drop them in the bag, pay for them, and they show you guys the receipt at the door. Amazon invented that. Amazon invented that. I'm trying to get, trying to get a good old CV tech because I know he's in, he's in, uh, you know, kind of the south, and he's, you know, with the WalMarts and all that, so. Nobody's taking over Dollar General, Edwin. I used to work for Dollar General as a store manager, and that company is growing. You know what my district manager yeah. told me about Dollar General? For every one Walmart they have, they're going to open three Dollar Generals, apparently. Um, exactly, South Memphis, bro. Yeah, that scan and go thing was from Amazon. All these people are going to do is ride their coattails. Amazon, Walmart in my opinion, is probably the only retailer that will be able to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with them. And until Walmart creates something that's completely original, you know, they're either going to be neck and neck or they're going to be right behind Amazon. Right? Yeah. Man, I call it Wally World because I get lost in, in there, man. Oh, yeah. No, nah, not only that, man. You got to remember what I told you earlier when we spoke on Facebook. They have the tendency of taking ideas that are original and adding their own seasoning to it. 
you had Netflix. Now you got Amazon Prime. You know, you had um, Apple. Yeah. You know, that's that's a perfect example right there. How long until the whole food stores just starts letting people go because everything is automated? Mm-hmm. Yep. Dude, They're these people up. are in everything, bro. Everything. They own physical bookstores. You know, the Amazon bookstore, which is completely light years ahead of places like Books A Million. You know, uh, they own Zappos.com. They own Twitch, which is going to become like a television channel because they're giving people, you know, TV deals that Nielsen tracks on Twitch. Oh, yeah. Isn't Twitch owned by Amazon? Yeah. Mm. You got the web services. You got the uh, Goodreads, the Internet Movie Database, the Whole Foods Market. Dude, you can go to the freaking doctor on Amazon now. Did you know that? No, I did not know that. What is that about? Yes. I don't know if the program is still around, but once I checked, you could literally see a doctor through some Amazon app before. Oh, bro, I'm about to go see that. I'm about to go see the doctor right now. Yeah, you got to have insurance still. Wait, what? How much does it cost? Steven Booth says Amazon just bought Dish Network. I got an email today. What? Wow. Wait a minute. Hold on. I got to look this up. Hold on. Dish Network, huh? Man. Oh, Metro PCS guys came out with a uh, with a, hot, a little hotspot uh, little device. But it's the worst, bro. It is the worst, guys. Oh, my God. It's the worst. Why? Because you have to have... You can't just go buy the hotspot thing. You have to have a Metro PCS phone. Uh, you have to buy the device. Device is probably like... I think, I think it's like 70 or 80 bucks. I'm not sure exactly how much it was. Uh, the plan is thirty dollars, and you get ten gigabytes. So, like, I don't, I just don't understand it. Like, ten literally, gigs I just for thirty dollars. You got to pay. Huh? Ten, yeah, and, every month. Yeah. Oh man, screw that, dude! I'll just keep the ten dollar a gig on Cricket. Yeah, or you just get the. Yeah. So basically, it's like a. I mean, it's like a little hotspot device or whatever, but you you can't. Like it would be nice if they would have just offered, you know, to buy the device. You don't have to have, you know, what I'm saying that could have pulled more people into Metro. Eventually, they they might have got a phone service through them. Edwin, Costco is doing fine. Costco is doing really well, actually, and that company has a lot of happy employees. And happy employees means better production. Let's see. I only go to Walmart to either cash my check. Go grocery shopping or get my mobile. That's the only time I go to Walmart. I don't know why you would pay $30 a month for 10 gigs when you can get for like $50 a month home internet. That's really oh, fast. And limited. Look what the cat dragged in. Oh, what's up, everyone? What's up, bro? I can't tell it. I finally got everything set up, man. I tell you, nothing goes your way until you're in a hurry. CV into his house. Yeah, how's everyone doing tonight? Well, we're talking about Wal those Walmarts and Sam's Clubs closing all of a sudden. Mm -hmm. And how it may or may not be part of what I call the Amazon effect. Mm. Never know. Bro, so. I mean, CV... Amazon is, they, they got their hands in everything. Everything you can think of, Amazon does something with it. Exactly. You I mean, can go, a... like, I was, talking, I was talking to John, how in certain cities they have the Amazon Prime now. For example, in Charlotte, where I'm at, um, I could order, um, I don't know, name something, pine saw, cleaning supplies, snacks, whatever. And it'll be delivered delivered to my house in two hours. Wow. And it's the same price or close to Walmart or Target stuff. And I don't have to leave my house. Man. Or go to Seattle and go to the Amazon Go and just put your phone against a scanner, grab whatever you want, and leave, and it's already paid for. 
Yeah, I got a feeling that What's before that long. For, job for people that work it. You know? Yeah, I, I got a, I got a feeling before long it's going to get to the point to where you're going to have stores that are going to be mainly for like pickup only and, you know, stuff like that and not going to be not going to be much. You know, as far as you know, because I mean, everything now. I mean, it's, it's funny. You, you can go to you can go into Walmart or Target, and you will see you know a pretty good selection of stuff. But you go online, and they got like a hundred times more stuff online than they have in stores. They call it endless shelves. You know, um, and and what's what's so bad is everybody is you know is relying solely so bad on on the internet. What's going to happen down the road? You know, something was to happen to the internet. Yeah. All right. If the internet was to collapse for like a day, oh, people would, yeah, it would be like that blackout in New York back in the seventies. Yeah, it would be oh, like God. you know, people would chaos. lose their mind, bro. Chaos. Because we've, the, gotten it, it, so, we've gotten so attached to the internet, we've made it such a part of our lives that when people are away from their smartphones for a day or two because they lost one or their services cut because they didn't have enough money for their bill. They start getting antsy about it. Yeah. I mean, you know, it, it, it's, it's, it's all about the internet now. So if the, if the internet was, was gone tomorrow for a day, even six hours. I mean, you're talking about people going crazy. We're part mm -hmm. of the problem, bro. Hey, look at all the claps for you. CV tech told them all the clap for you. Hey, Hey everyone. <laughs> oh man, no, no hustle, man. You need your vape too, bro. You need to be a vape, bro. A vape douche like us. <laughs> but it's just a, just the way it is. I mean, yeah. I mean, we're on the internet. We're doing stuff right now. But I'm gonna tell you. I'm gonna be. I'm gonna be honest with you. I don't. I don't. I don't sit there and rely everything on the internet. I mean, I don't, I mean, a lot of my, a lot of stuff that I do is done at, at, at a store, in person, whatever, uh, you know, internet stuff to me is just a, a little side thing. You know what I'm saying? Let me, let me ask you all this. Okay. We're all in our thirties. And Ooh, people, I'm 21, bro. Oh, hold people, on. Hey, we got a five dollar super chat. Thank you, Ray Hernandez. Go ahead. So all right. we're all, we're in our thirties. People, you know, up there with age in their sixties and seventies are saying, this is not traditional. Back then we would go and there'd be a grocery person to load your groceries, you know, give you your change, you know, complaining about the changes in times. When we get to that age, when what's happening now is our tradition. Can you imagine how far ahead we'll be technologically? Mm -hmm. Bro, I almost lost my mind. I went to one of those save a lot places where you have to like box your own stuff or whatever. I'm like, cause I'm like, I, I you know, I, I, I checks out, you know what I'm saying? Everything is going good or whatever. I'm saving a lot, you know, as the name save a lot. And then all of a sudden, like the chick looks at me, I'm like, all right, you know what I'm saying? It's cool. What's up? You know, she's like, oh, you gotta, you gotta box your own stuff. There's some boxes over there in the corner. I'm like, excuse me. <laughs> Man, you went to an old save a lot. Cause the one that I, that's where I met, they give you bags. Oh no no! They charge you like they charge you like a dollar or two per bag to so use the reusable bags. If you isn't don't bring Amazon your also doing uh, self driving cars or investing in that kind of AI? I think so. Hey, Luke Tech with the dollar, bro. Thank you. Go ahead. I'm I'm sorry. I would not trust a self driving car. There is just no way in the world I would be able to kick back and relax in a self driving car. You remember that video I made a while back, John? Called when I called Amazon Skynet. Oh yeah, bro. Man, I've been bro, I've been saying this forever, man. You can even probably look at one of my like older videos, bro, talking about this stuff with the internet and all that. And people not wanting to go to traditional stores and all that stuff. And I see South Memphis bro with the with the dollar as well. Uh thank you so much, bro. Really helped. Let me see here. Save a lot have rotten. Does Save a lot have rotten meat? Oh, I don't know. No, Save a lot has good stuff. I, I haven't been there in a long time. I've never been to a save a lot. I mean, 
CV, how would you react if one day when you went to buy Mellow Yellow, it was automated where literally an arm was giving you the, the drink? You can't drink it with your own hands anymore. <laughs> I'm sorry. I like doing them all. I like, yeah, no. Nah, that would be, that's just, no. Nah. But you know what? I'm telling sorry, you. Guys. The way things are getting, though, I mean, things are just getting, I don't know. I mean, I got a feeling that today's generation is going to just completely, just going to completely forget how to, do, how to do anything, you know, on their own. I mean, they can't even, bro, they can't even touch their phones anymore. They got to use an assistant nowadays mm -hmm. for their phones, bro. I mean, tell them the time, tell them the weather. Oh, my God, man. It, I, I'm telling you, man, it's lost, bro. It's a, lo it's a lost cause. And now, you know, schools, schools are wanting to do away with cursive writing. There, are, you, people. You can, uh, they don't teach you how to spell. I mean, you can look at, you can look at certain comments and see that. And Tell you me. know, <laughs> I mean, look at this though. Oh not, yeah, I mean, not not on, on the, the, hang on, not not on this stream. I'm not talking about the stream here. I'm seeing some comments <laughs> that I've got in the past. So okay, just, oh, just yeah. going to clear that up, y'all. I'm a I'm a grammar I'm a grammar geek too, bro. Like, I hate when people say you're instead of you are. Oh, God, I know me too. <laughs> but what, honestly, <laughs> do we need, do we need cursive? I think, I think you are to at least be able to write your name in cursive. Oh, yeah. Well, you have to when you sign something. No, yeah, you exactly. don't have to. But I mean, I mean, when teachers, I, I mean, when I was in school and they say, do this whole paragraph or this whole page in cursive. I still mm. practice cursive here and there because I forget how to write it sometimes. Like bro, I have to look bro, up new words here and there. But I'm gonna be honest, bro. bro the society is getting crazy, man. Like I know in boot camp nowadays, like you have like a stress me out card or something like that. If somebody's stressing you out too much, you hand them a card because you're you're they're stressing you out too much. So you have like a timeout card. <laughs> I, I don't. I oh don't my know, bro. I can't. I can't, bro. Anymore with this with this place. But I mean, like, you know, like I was saying, like I was saying, I mean, yeah, I mean, cursive writing, I mean, that's just kind of like a, kind of like a matter of preference. But I think that everybody should learn how to sign their own name. However, um, uh, I just completely just. Uh, but yeah, I mean, me, the way I speak, the way I talk is nowhere near how like I how like I spell and how I do my, you know, writing comments, stuff like that. I mean, you would not think it was the same person writing the writing in the comments is if you is to hear me talk. But. You know, I, I mean, I hardly ever write anything anymore because, <laughs> yeah, I it's all right here. I mean, nope, it's all I right can't. here. So, who really writes in a notebook anymore? Yeah, I mean, I, I guarantee you, people people are gonna write resumes. They're gonna have like emojis and LOLs and everything, and they're like in their emails. You know what I'm saying, man? If I seen an LOL or if I seen an emoji in a resume. Bro, they're not getting or any, hired, or any kind you of know. any kind of abbreviation like that. Like I don't like like IDK or uh, you know all that stuff. I mean, seriously. <laughs> you know, little by Did little, we, whenever I would go to a job interview, you know, even after I digitally submitted a resume, you know, some of them would expect you to still have a physical one. That's starting to go away too. People are like, oh no, I got a resume. You're good. Yep. Yep. I mean, cool. things are. Ten years I mean, ago, are, sorry to, go ahead, go ahead. Uh, go ahead. Ten years ago, Bill Gates was talking about making the first completely green school, like no printers, no writing material, no paper of any kind, just everything digital. And at at the time, you know, people thought he was crazy because we weren't that technologically advanced. And I'm talking, this was just ten years ago. Now, it's a it's a possibility. I mean, it's amazing to see, you know, in my, you know, in my early twenties, just, just, you know, back in like 2003, four or five, just how far things have, and how, how things have changed in the past, you know, the past decade, you know, I mean, it's just, it's crazy to look at things now and look at how things were back then. I mean, it's just, I mean, look at, I mean, for one thing, you, 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 you had a cell phone, but it would attach to your hip. Kind of like, kind of like we have our, our cell phones now attached to. We, uh, I mean, if you we forget our cell phone somewhere, we go crazy. And I'm, I'm, I'm the same way. So I mean, you know, 
I mean, I have three cell phones, so I, I can't say nothing. Oh, I'll me too. I, I got three, four on me all, all the time, so I, I can't say nothing. Um, but I'm just saying, they kind of. I mean, I kind of miss the old days of how things were more simple than, than they are now. But of course, now is good too, because I mean, you look at all this stuff and everything, and yeah, I mean, like I said, if everything was to crash tomorrow, then people would it'd be, it'd be like the depression, you know. Yeah, Walmart man, boy, boy, boy. So, do, do we really need algebra in high school? I don't. I've never used a there one bit of algebra. I've never used one bit of algebra, ever. Neither have I. It's, I think, you know, my brother left college early because he struggled with algebra. I said that's the stupidest, you know, it was thing. Like it's it's purposeless. There's no purpose to algebra. You know, until I figure out a way where algebra is going to change my life, which it hasn't, I don't <laughs> care about it. I mean, there's what, maybe a couple of professions, you know, in, in, out of all that might even use algebra. Yeah, and I'm not working in those professions. No, me either. So, I mean, I was I was okay in, in simple algebra, but when it got to that tougher stuff, I'm like, Tush. yeah, okay. Like, I'm ever going to need this in my whole life. Real, bro. They should teach people, like, real stuff, bro, like how to cook fries. How to stock shelves? <laughs> how to you know what I'm saying? How to wipe windows? How to how to clean floors? How to take out the trash? You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. like, I mean, it's like yeah, I, mean, I know, right? I mean, you know, they they want to teach you all this algebra and all this stuff that you're never going to need, but they don't want. But they it's like that they kind of slack off on just the basic as to track, multiply, and divide. And, you know? I mean, you you ask a millennial to clean the bathroom at a like a, at a McDonald's, and they look at you like you know you're. You're like you're you're crazy, like you know what I'm saying, like, like. Well, the thing mm -hmm. I don't want to really, you know, crap on millennials because I'm a millennial myself, you know. But um, a lot of the current generation, you have to at, tell them three or four times to do a simple task, you know. Yeah, I mean, like you, like you have to repeat yourself for everything with a lot of them. Now, you know, like. Talking about like, like, can you do it now? <laughs> talk, talking about millennial, uh, w that starts when 83, 84, they say. Yeah, yeah, Eight. I was born in 85. I was, I was born in 83, so I'm 81. Damn, you're old. So. <laughs> yeah, I'm in, between, I'm, I'm in between, I'm in between both of y'all, but I mean, we're like in the very early, early, early stages of all that kind of stuff. So we know we grew up in you know the Nintendo world and Super Nintendo where we didn't have all this electronic stuff we have now. So I mean, we really didn't need it back in the day. I mean, our generation was you grew up playing outside, meeting people, doing actually doing stuff physical instead of you know sitting at a phone screen all day long and meeting everybody that way. You know, so, yeah, you know what, phones, bro. The social media is raising our kids, bro. Exactly. You can call this a conspiracy theory if you want, but I believe that with the way that this uh, technological revolution is going on, I feel like life expectancy is going to could be cut shorter. Mm -hmm. You know, I agree. I agree, hundred percent. I mean, you know, like you say, I mean, this technology. Oh, now with their superfoods, bro, and their kale drinks, man. Come on now, dude. The only way to eat a hundred percent healthy is growing your own stuff. Exactly. And you got to check those seeds too. Because there's always some ingredient in something that will harm you. I don't know. Always. I always, I always see I some like weird milk, bro, and like some almond milk or some crazy. Like, bro, what's wrong with regular milk? I just don't understand it. You know, they got this thing called raw water now, bro. Raw water. Oh yeah, Fiji water. No, no, raw water. Like it's called raw water, right? No, no, uh, no, no. Yeah, it's literally just water that's not filtered. Now they don't even want it filtered because it's too, it's too, too, too much. So they get <laughs> what, well, what well do they get it out of? Apparently, they just get it out of like I don't know, like wherever it comes from the source. Screw all that, bro. I just drink my Fiji water. That's the purest water you could drink in my opinion. I mean, you can have like. Bear piss in there, you know what I'm saying, and <laughs> all types of chemicals and agents, and or all types of, you know, feces or dead things in the water. You know what I'm saying? Like, what's so wrong with purifying water? I don't understand that. Yeah, it's just it's, I drink it's, out the it's, tap, it's bro. I drink out the tap. I don't understand, man. 
Well, I drink out of well, out of well water, so. Actually, now that I have you here, CV, after the live stream, I need you to call me, sir. Oh, after okay. Yes, before you go live, are you going live today? I don't know yet. Okay, I ain't decided yet. Cool, cool. Hopefully, you do, bro. It's always cool when you go live. I, yeah, here, here, here. Lately, I've been going to sleep, <laughs> or, or I've been like, or it's like I've been out and about, and I get home late, and yeah, so. Yeah, I feel you. But yeah, um, oh my God, Total Wireless, man. Oh, did I, okay. Do you want me to tell you what happened with me and Total Wireless? Uh, was was it, was that what you're going to tell me? Tell me. No, 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 no. This is something completely different. Oh, okay. okay. Yeah, man. I'm having issues with it myself right now, so I'm kind of like getting on my or getting on my last nerve right now. Customer what service is customer service, man. Oh my God, that they have no clue what they're doing, no clue. And I, I mean, you, you can call them, and they I like that they I like that they have no idea what anything is. They have no training, nothing. I mean, even talking to even I, I, I talked to a manager today, and they kept repeating every over and over and over again. I'm like, seriously, you know, their systems are screwed up. Every time I do anything online right now, I get an error message: error, 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 error. I call them. We, well, we get the same error. Well, what's wrong with it? We don't know. I'm like, well, you should know. You got your computer right there in front of you. What's going on? We'll create a ticket. Tickets don't do anything. You call back the next day, like they say to do. Well, it still ain't working. Nothing's fixed. I'm like, okay. Um, Cause everything's you know, automated, bro. There's nobody actually working the switches. There's nobody actually doing their job, bro. It's all a ticket. And then, you know what I'm saying? The real guys come in later and fix it. Mm -hmm. No, not only that. If you notice, whenever you call 611 or 611, 611, whatever, they're making it harder and harder for you to reach a human being. Not me. Um, I haven't, I've, not, I've not had any problem reaching anybody. I've called like you know, I've called like seven or eight times the past two days. You, like you ever now, notice? You ever notice on Boost Mobile like, or Sprint where the, you hit 611 and it takes you to some other random app or something like that? It, they block what? it basically. Mm -hmm. no, but uh, what I'm saying is now you have to select things that have nothing to do with what you're calling about technical technical support, you know, um, mm -hmm. uh, issues with your phone. You have to say that so someone answers the phone, and then you be like, "I'm on my account number." Yeah. But I'm gonna tell y'all something. I'm gonna tell y'all who is the most difficult companies to reach a person for when it comes to prepaid. AT&T AT&T uh, GoPhone and Verizon prepaid. It is almost oh, impossible to get a human being on the phone for them. And and if you don't have an account with Verizon prepaid, forget it. It ain't going to yep. happen. There is no way to get anybody on 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 on, on for, for for a live person on Verizon prepaid. I mean, you can't do it. I mean, I've tried I've tried over and over again before, and you can't do it. Oh yeah, and if you call if you call Verizon directly and you say you got prepaid, shit, they'll hang up on you. They'll give you the mm -hmm. number to prepay that you just called. No, I can't transfer the call. Yep, they can't help you either because you're prepaid. And 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 they'll say because I called postpaid and I and they said I said I got a prepaid. I said I'm trying to get. A, I said I, my number has been you no know, was I was calling for somebody else. I think it was what 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 it wasn't my line and um. And I said, "Can you transfer me to, to, to prepaid?" Yeah, we'll transfer you. I'm like, I'm like to a real person, right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and then they say, "Hold on a second. And I get their stupid animated animated service, and there I am back at square one again. I'm like, "Oh my god, are you kidding me?" So I'm, I'm telling you, man, it's just. Hey, I got to give it to consumer cellular, bro. They they might take a while to get on the phone, but once you get somebody on the phone, bro, they have excellent customer service. Well, like you gotta remember. Notch. I'll give you. I'll give you a, a story about consumer cellular. When I first started working at Target Tech in 2015, um, they answered like within seconds because they were starting to build their clientele. Now that consumer cellular has blown up, and people, you know, you're getting five and six customers a day at Target. You know that happens. They're they're gonna get backed up a little bit. 
Yeah, but I mean, yeah, they, they're always backed up at least five to ten minutes. But once they yeah. get on the line, consumer cellular man, customer service is is mwah, bonito, the best man, the but, best. But now, but now I have realized something on Total Wireless. I tried it today because I've not, I was not, I've not been able to do an ESN change on my account. So I'm like, you know what? Forget it. So I just took my, I took my SIM card, and I could put my SIM card in any Total Wireless, any straight talk phone, and it works. Um, I don't know how, but it does. I, I, I took um, my SIM card out of my iPhone. And I put it in, in three or four of my Total Wireless phones and straight talk phones, and they all work without having to change anything. Oh, okay. Now, do y'all want to hear my Total Wireless nightmare? Mm, that's why, <laughs> I left, why I finally left Total Wireless? I'm about this close. Myself right now. Okay. As you know, I had a smart pay agreement with my Galaxy S8 on Total Wireless. And I had no problems at all the two months I was with them until the end. I paid my bill on time because you had to have service while you're on smart pay. And I paid my installments on time. So the other day, I go to pay my phone bill to cover for f- February, the rest of January and February. And they're like, uh, we sorry, we cannot uh, take your payment. You have to call SmartPay. So I call SmartPay, and SmartPay says, I don't know why they told you that we have anything to do with that. You need to call Total Wireless back. So I call Total Wireless back. I said, look, I don't know what's going on, but they told me I have to call SmartPay. The pin I purchased would not go through. So it was back and forth, back and forth for a while. And then the guy that sold me the the service plan who is a friend of mine got on the phone and said look call them and i'll call them we finally got them to do a three-way call and it was like that wrestling match between rick martell and jake the snake roberts at wrestlemania whatever when they were literally trying to fight each other when they were completely blindfolded Mm. and i got frustrated and i said you know what cancel my lease and cancel my line i'm done with y'all and I'm tired of y'all being rude for no reason, because they are rude. They are downright mean. I haven't so encountered that yet. Happened. And, you know, not only did I cancel my line and send my S8 back, I lost $35. I basically paid for a month of service for nothing. Mm. I mean, so that, was my total, that was my total wireless story, bro. That's why wow. I... We canceled them. That's why I sent back my S8. So now I'm looking to get an S8 and I'm going to buy it outright. I don't blame you. I, I don't like buying phone. phones anymore. I don't like buying phones anymore. It's tied down to a carrier that won't unlock your phone for a year. Yeah. You know, my brother bought himself a Note 8, but my brother saves his money and he put it on Cricket and he's had no problems. And he does it. all he pays is his forty dollars a month, and that's it. Was well, you gonna say that's something that's earlier, John? No. So I think I think uh, these these companies, man, they're gonna start locking down their phones harder. I don't know. That's I just feel that like that's coming in the future. Off I mean, look see the, look the see the number one thing that i like about cricket basically is you can use any cricket phone any at&t phone and any unlock phone you know that's why i i mean i do i, I do want to maintain a second line um but i don't know but i got a question you said have you been using that zte max blue yes i have been using it on and off and uh it's a it's a, it's a very solid phone it works really well it's kind of it's kind of a cross between the uh zte blade v8 pro and the um, ZTE Max XL. It's kind of like a cross in between those two. And, you know, is it worth 200 bucks? No, definitely not worth 200 bucks. Not whenever you can get the um, V8 Pro. It's, a much, it's, it's actually a better phone for like 130, 140 bucks, brand new. And you can get the, the, the Blade Z Max for a lot lower price as well. So the Max Split for 200 bucks is really ridiculous. And uh, I would say 100 bucks would be a good price because the phone is nice. It's, it's running the same processor as the V8 Pro, the 2 gigahertz 625 octa core processor. Uh, the only difference in the RAM is one one gigabyte from three to two in the Max Blue, and um, the cameras are the same. It's basically like a cross between the V8 Pro and the Max XL. 
I seen you got a shout out there by ZTE, bro. Yeah, man. On Twitter. <laughs> yeah. Up in the DM. Do what now? Did you hit him up in the DMs, bro? See if you can get some no. devices or what? No, I'm going to oh, man. Uh, tomorrow. I'm, up, I'm, I'm going to tomorrow. Yeah, I'm going to. You hear about those? I was watching a couple of YouTube channels, and the V8 Pro is getting a big upgrade this year, where it's going to have six gigs of RAM, two hundred and fifty-six gigs of memory. The camera's getting an upgrade. Like it's just a complete beast. I think it's called the Porsche Edition or something. Wow. Yeah, I've seen. So, a couple, yeah. I've seen a couple wild, uh, wild things, man. Uh, I, I, I like. I, I'm liking. I'm liking those actual uh, those little tablet things with the assistant on there. I, I like some of them, man. It's a pretty cool idea. You know why I like them though? A lot because they have YouTube built in, so that means more views for us. <laughs> oh no, man! <laughs> the thing is, is that I I didn't see any mention on new ZTE devices, new LG devices, or anything like th for the budget spectrum. It looks like so far the focus on some of the companies is we're going to continue with the devices we already have, but we're just going to refreak them. Okay, now, um, no, I did not put the SIM card in the ZT Max Blue. I'm going to try that out soon. Uh, the X Charge. Which one? The total wireless one? Yeah, uh, for, well, actually for straight talk. Are you keeping that one or are you returning it? Shoot, no. Not for 200 bucks. <laughs> are you going to... You're going to return it? Oh, yeah, most definitely. Okay. I, um, you know, I'm a cell phone dealer. I, uh, I offered you $60 for it. <laughs> Pay 200 for it. Okay, buddy, but I have to make money too. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but I can... Yeah, and, and that's what I would say. Yeah, but I got my receipt and I'll give him back my full money. So, yeah, there you go. I was about to say, don't, <laughs> don't, give, don't, give, don't put it in my hands, man. I'll, I'll lick the battery. I'll lick, I'll lick my finger, put it on the on the thing and say, oh, this is wet, man. This has been wet. What a diamond. <laughs> Half off. I'll give yeah. you 30. I'll hit 60. I, asking about the LGX charge. I think it's a good phone. I do. I mean, it's, it's pretty solid. What's the name of that new Alcatel coming out next week, John? The Alcatel Vera or something? Uh, Versa. Uh, yeah. Versa. Yeah, I'm getting that. I'm definitely getting that. Even though it's a free phone, I know I'm getting it. Man, do you think LG's going to do the whole Stylo Plus again? Crazy stuff? I, heard, I saw nothing about Stylos at CES. I don't think they're going to have a Stylo this year. I think they didn't, maybe have the the last year. they didn't have the Stylo last year at CES. That just kind of crops up, bro. Oh, okay. Well, I think they're just going to give the V20 to all the carriers. I got to be honest. I haven't really, I haven't watched nothing from CES. Not one video from CES. I'm a little bitter, man. I should have been there, bro. Right. <laughs> I'm not hating. I'm just saying I should, I know I should have been there, but it's all right. But yeah, I don't know. I mean, I mean, honestly, I forgot what I was gonna say. Ah, I tell you, it's one of the nights, man. All right, which two to five, which two to two and a half year old flagships do you think are still worth the money? The S six is still S6, good. Yeah. Uh, the S six, the V uh, twenty, the V ten is still good. The G four is still good. Mm -hmm. LG some droids. No, I like droids. Droid. The Nexus 6, Boy. maybe? Maybe? Any of the Nexuses, they usually hold up pretty well. Huh? Well, the V20 was the end of 2016, so it's not quite two years old yet. Hey, CV, you need to return that ZTE and get that Huawei, dude. The 7X? Yes. Yeah, I, I'm getting the red one on, on February 14th when it drops. So I'm going to be available for one day on Valentine's Day. They're going to have the red. 7x oh, so, so so i'm waiting for the, the red one the huawei uh it's good they should call it the huawei honor classic because just like the nintendo it's gonna be poof <coughs> and mel hustles what do you mm -hmm. think about the uh the huawei getting uh canceled by at&t triggered guys i got mad warning i got mad but that's okay because 
AT and T has little integrity as a company. Oh, you know, AT and T um, sponsor me before he says anything. <laughs> <laughs> what Bill Hustle says is not representative AT&T, of this channel. AT and T, you know, a total tramp. Oh my god! <laughs> Go ahead, keep going. You know. I mean, I'm pretty sure they got paid off by Apple or Samsung, but, you know, since AT&T doesn't care about their customers, they only care about their pockets, you know, they want to rip their customers off. And that's okay because Huawei can go with another company like Metro PCS because Cricket's under AT&T and I all hold them under the same umbrella that I am lighting with matches and gasoline. They can go to a company like Metro. Or heck, they can even go to the track phone people, but they'll be fine. But it's just a complete, you know, a total tramp. You know, one thing I understand is why Boost Mobile hasn't got any more Huawei phones. The only Huawei phone that I remember is the uh, Huawei Union on Boost Mobile, which it was pretty solid for, the uh, you know, a very, very basic phone back in the day years ago but they haven't got any more huawei phones in the past like two or three years yeah it is and you know i've always said it that huawei phones they're on the level of apple samsung but without the price tag i'll go back Mm -hmm. to my legendary honor six if somebody said i can't decide between a galaxy s6 or a iphone 6s or i want both devices just buy a huawei honor 8 and you got the best of both worlds exactly Didn't we I mean, get this heard... oh, i'm sorry this next question oh i've just ha- i've had not- i've had i've heard nothing but good about the honor 8 i heard it was an awesome phone i just hope it doesn't get too outdated anytime soon because mm-hmm. it is kind of old now John, it was so hard not to curse on that little rant I did about AT and T because it would have been so much more vicious. I mean, we already got donations, man. You know what I'm saying? Your guys' donations make it so we can just rant and do whatever we want on here because we basically got you know we already got paid for the video. (laughs) So thank you guys for the donations. Whenever you do give them uh, on live streams, because that allows us so I can say whatever I want Uh, within reason. Yeah. Oh man, because AT and T so poor. Here, look, we have children. Oh look. gosh, we have children. What right up, here. little John? Little John, we have children. We have children watching. The, the Alcatel Pop series. I think I only had like what one Alcatel Pop series unlocked phone. It wasn't too bad. I'm gonna be honest, guys. ZTE Alcatel older Samsung smartphones, LG. God, they were awful. Yeah, L seventy. I hated that thing, bro. The L seventy. That thing had yeah. one big goodbye of memory. I think. Yeah, the biggest problem in older Samsung was touch wheels was so heavy. Hey, touch you wheels know was what? awful. I was thinking today because there's uh you know people that still enjoy using a flip phone or simple phone. Those old phones would be great just to talk and text if they're willing not to do picture messaging. And they need them just to talk and text and nothing else. I mean, go to the point where hide every other app. They're perfect. Yeah, but the pictures. I mean, sometimes you want to take a picture of somebody, man. Having a flip phone, that's just, just, it's just so awkward, phone. man. It's just so awkward to look at somebody like, okay. No, 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 no not, not a flip phone. I mean, a, a old smartphone. Oh, a old yeah, smartphone. Yeah. You know, like the original Galaxy Core Prime. Things like that. Yeah, I, 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 right here. Right here, I got an iPhone 6. Okay, this, this is not my iPhone 6. I, I, man, this thing here is beyond slow. I mean, compared to my Who's SE, this, it's, uh, it's total wireless. Who's this at? A friend of yours or yours? Yeah. Yeah, it's not, it's not mine. I just have it here, but it's not mine. They didn't like it, so I, so I I'm I got to return it for them. <laughs> but uh, yeah, this thing is the screen is nice, but other than that, nah. Compared to the SC, it's a turtle. I had to return it 
I had the SE from, I mean, it's a SE. I had the six from Total Wireless Earth last year, and then I returned it, and then I got a boost one. I, I did an even exchange because I had the boost service too. Same thing. I just ended up returning it, and then my suspicions were confirmed a few weeks ago when Apple said, we're purposely slowing the older iPhone down. Man, where's everybody at, man? Y'all y'all being kind of lazy. Let me, let's do a, a roll call. Let, let me get some ones in the chat. See who's in here. I see like uh, the, two people typing. The phone, I, the phone that I'm using right now is a phone that I've not, I've not unboxed yet on my channel. I picked it up, and only one. And so, yeah, it'll be released tomorrow. Right, there we go. Okay. We got it. So it's a mystery John. phone. Who's the carrier? Uh, I got it. I got it. I can't, I can't say. Who's the manufacturer? I can't say. It does it use Type C or Micro USB or Lightning? <laughs> <laughs> well, Lightning is the way. It's Micro USB, so it could be anything. Oh God! Ah, okay. Matt Johnson, what's up? I haven't seen but you. I have, it, I, I have it released tomorrow, so yeah, that's, that's what I'm streaming on right now. It'll be the phone re will be released tomorrow. Well, it is tomorrow in China, technically. So if we pretend we're in China, <laughs> you can tell me what it is. It's about to be I, tomorrow I, in 45 minutes. Yeah, there you well, go. I, I'm not going to say it until I release the unboxing, which I don't ever release the unboxing in the middle of the night here. So, yeah. <laughs> Look at all these people now. Look at all these people. Look at all these lurkers. I was playing. They were probably just listening, not not typing. <sighs> No hustles, man. You getting tired on us, bro? Yeah, a little bit, man. I know. You were sleeping. I woke him up, man. I woke him up. CB, I think you, you fell asleep on me last night, no? Uh, then, I, got, I, 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 I woke up I woke up uh, uh, when I messaged you back, whatever yeah, time I, it was. And I was asleep by the time you <laughs> messaged me. So, yeah, I, was, uh, I fell asleep kind of early last night. Man, does anybody get like, I don't know, like, does your phone keep you up at night? Like, does, like, the screen, you know what I'm saying? Because I know that, I know that's a thing, apparently. Like, if you nah, look at your screen has, late at night, not it for has me, it has. It has, and it's caused a problem to the point now when I go to sleep, I turn off my Wi Fi, my data, and all that. Mm. But when I wake up, it's notifications galore. Okay, personally, I'm listening and not actually watching. Okay, yeah, I have YouTube Red, so I do that sometimes too. I literally just I'm not, listen. I'm not I'm, giving out any more information on the phone that I got right now. I'm using. Hmm. We'll ever get the plus versions of the the lag but, uh, stylo. <laughs> <laughs> Look at Vargo's question. The lag style. Let's see. I work at nights. Listening from a TV. Ah, I see. Man, it must be hard to type on a TV. Can you even type comments on a TV? I don't think so, but I don't know. I never tried it. That'd be kind of weird, man, to watch it on TV, bro. But yeah, I mean, I don't know. Uh, so, is there, so what? So what are so what are some phones that y'all plan on getting, or if any, in the near future? The, the only the, the only one that I'm gonna the only one that I'm planning on getting in the near future that I'm planning on getting and keeping will be the Honor Seven X, the red Honor Seven X. Uh, good luck getting that, bro. I feel like that's gonna sell out. Man, I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be on the honor site at midnight, man. Until that thing pops up on the, until that thing pops up for sale. Then as soon as it comes up for sale, boom, it's gonna be. I'm gonna order that sucker. You better you have it in your you cart and everything order, ready to go. Do what? Y'all was kind of back and forth. Cart, and you, you better have it in your cart and your credit card card already typed in and all that. It's not even on their site yet. It won't be on their site until the 14th. But see, I, I'm on the East Coast, so. There's gonna be there's there's gonna be a certain number of one in each country 
so I'm on the East Coast, so I got first advantage, I guess you would say. <laughs> Too bad you can't pre order it. I know, right? And the first hundred is gonna be like it's gonna, you can get like free headphones, something like that, like the first hundred sales in the in the United States. So Oh, you'll get number yeah, you one. You should definitely get two or three of them, one for me and John also, in case we can't be there. Uh six hundred bucks. For three. <laughs> Who do you plan to put it on? Total Wireless or Cricket or both? Or um, I wonder if I wonder if we'll actually be able to use it on CDMA and GSM or if it's GSM only. If it's GSM only, then you can use it on Straight Talk and Cricket. As mm. long as you use the blue, uh, the blue map uh, SIM card on Straight Talk. See, I don't have Straight Talk though. I got Total Wireless. Ah, okay, okay. Yeah, he said but Total Wireless I, works on straight but, talk phones. Yeah, but it, yeah, but if I get that phone, it'll definitely be on Cricket. You for Cricket. You know, I would like to see a speed test between um, Straight Talk, the Verizon version of Straight Talk, and Verizon prepaid. Mm -hmm. You know, just to see which one to go with, because if they're equal speeds, you're saving a lot of money doing the Straight Talk. Well, actually, I have Verizon prepaid not long ago, and I and I'm getting the same speeds on on total and straight talk that I that I got on Verizon prepaid. Hmm. The exact no. same speeds. I mean, I, I mean, on total wireless and places where I live at, I'm getting up upwards near ninety hundred megabits download speed. I guess places. the le I guess the lesson with me is, you know, because I really did like total wireless. I don't finance a phone through them. Mm. -mm. Definitely. I mean, I, I guess if I don't have any more problem with Total Wireless, I'll, I'll probably keep the service because I really need Total Wireless here in this area I live at because it gets the best the best of everything. It's just unfortunate they don't have it unlimited. And no, I'm, I'm not going to switch to, to straight talk uh, for the unlimited um, because no hot spot. But, you know, I kind of need that at times. But. You know, I like Total Wireless. I like the service that they may provide in my area. Now, if Cricket was to, or AT&T was actually up to service for voice calls in my area, I wouldn't need but one, one carrier. But, you know, that's how it is. Will you ever go postpaid CV? Not anymore. Nope. I don't see it happening. I don't, I don't care for all those massive surcharges and government fees and, Everything else you got to pay. I mean, you'll you'll pay eighty, you know, like like eighty or ninety bucks for a plan and a phone. Then you'll pay an extra thirty bucks a month just in fees. So, no, thank you. And plus, using using only one phone for like what two two years? I don't think so. I couldn't do it. Uh, yeah, um, yeah. Page page plus, you only get five megabits per second. So if I, so, you, you're capped on page plus. Uh, Michael Thomas. There is straight talking. Uh, straight talking to the wireless used to be kept at five megabits, but I'm glad that they finally lifted that. The uh, <clears throat> if you like, like one thing I've seen, I've, I've been telling a lot of people, if you're going to have a flagship phone on a prepaid carrier, you need to figure out a way to get insurance on it. Mm-hmm. It's bad, like Samsung Protect or something. Uh, yeah, Vincent D. Total Wireless does have hotspot, and so does Straight Talk. But you're going to pay a lot for hotspot. So for they any have hotspot since when? Well, I know that they um uh they get well they don't actually have like hotspot. They, like, they have them little you know hotspot in the boxes or whatever. Total does. Straight Talk does not not Total Wireless. Straight talk. Oh, and straight talk like fifteen dollars a gig. It's ridiculous. <laughs> yeah, it is. What do y'all think about what do you think about the uh Metro PCS hotspot box they got now? Is I that on their website? It. No, it's not on the website, but uh Variety's Tech. So shout out to Variety's Tech. Uh he he made a video earlier today. He said it was seventy nine ninety nine for the box itself, and then you have to have a thirty dollar plan. Only gives you ten gigs, and you have to have a phone with them to get that box. Well, well, thirty, 
bucks a month for 10 gigs ain't bad if, if you if you wasn't having to have a you know a phone with them as well well that's this is the thing when you're looking at that area for you know if you're looking in that area to pay for internet you, you might as well just go to like spectrum or something uh-huh. or xfinity and just get unlimited internet for your home for 50 bucks like i did no contract or nothing you said that if you, you've seen people use hotspot on straight talk on a limited plan you can you, there's a way around it and everything but they if they catch you and if they they, they can they can cut you they can cut you off just like just like just like that uh, it's in their fine print that, uh, and they said that if you use a hotspot on that when it's not really included, then they can they can cut you off, and you'll lose everything. <laughs> yeah, Michael Thomas. But honestly, I don't really care about hundred megabit speeds. I mean, I don't see no use in it. I mean, you know. I just don't really see any use in it. I mean, I, I don't really see where that speed's is going to really hinder the performance of the phone. I mean, my LG V20 is on Cricket. That's a 2016 flagship phone, and that thing works very fast, very, very well. So, I mean, you know, it's just how anybody looks at it, really. I guess some care about it. I don't really care about it that much. I could really care about speeds. As long as I got, I got, I have enough speeds to stream, upload my videos to YouTube, and they're they're decently fast. I don't really care. Agreed. Agreed. You got well. You got your speed demons out there. They need to download their Angry Birds so fast. So, wow. <laughs> I mean, I mean, that's why I pretty much quit doing speed tests on video anymore. Cause I, I might, it's pointless. Cause really. Everybody's gonna have different speeds, different areas, different states, different cities. It's gonna be different. So, unless somebody literally requests me to do a speed test, I'm not gonna do it. I request you do a speed test. The Echo Dot. How's your Echo Dot? I didn't use it no more, man. You know, uh, Amazon Home products are getting much better review than Google Home. Oh, yeah. The, see, I had the, the Google Home Mini and the Echo Dot when I, I bought them on Black Friday. I got to be honest with you. Yes, the Google Home Mini had was louder, but the Echo Dot to me done a lot more stuff than the Google Home Mini. That's just for, for my testing that i done. I didn't care much for the Google Home Mini that much. I just, I just, it's so lazy. Little John, what are you doing? I don't know. So I would feel so lazy just asking assistants to do everything like all day long. Like, I mean, I to know, play a song weird. or something or read a book. I, I think that's okay. Read a book. Yeah, an audio book. What do y'all use your Amazon Echoes or Dots or Views or whatever the heck it is for, guys? In the chat. I don't I know myself personally. Just in my step, I I, I, took, I, un, I unplugged mine, and now mine's on the floor somewhere, or it's under the bed, or somewhere. I so I haven't even used it. I mean, okay. Who who has an uh, an assistant in their house right now? Go ahead and raise your hand or whatever. Okay. The only assistant I have at my house is a dishwasher. The only assistant I have is the wife. <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. Sorry, ladies. So, which one of you are getting a, a Galaxy S8 first? I... I don't, I don't know, I, bro. I just... They're going to have like to it. really... Do something to make the S9 better than the S8. Yeah, because I'm telling you, that that S8 man, that, that phone looks so awesome. You know, and, and 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 what's so funny is like, just say 
you are on straight talk or on total wireless and you want to buy a galaxy s7 you're, you're gonna pay 500 bucks for an s7 but for only 150 more you can buy an s8 and mm-hmm. like when like walmart i mean it's just who why would you i mean if you're gonna spend that kind of money on a phone you know why not go and put a little bit of extra money with it and buy the newest model no so not only that a, so what, but what straight talk wants for those phones you can buy one brand new unlocked for the same price really yes that's why i didn't do smart pay for the g5 i found the exact same phone for same price except mine was carrier free wow and the s8 works on both gsm and cdma yeah that you know that's why i you know that's why like on total wireless stuff like that's why i hate buying a phone that's like really expensive because it's, it's gonna be carrier lock for at least a year you know and it has to be the only it has to be activated for one year so you can't do any kind of changes nothing like that for one solid year and i just don't like that personally mm-hmm. uh, Ver, uh vargo i see 5g is pointless i mean that's just my opinion Oh, Mill Hustles, we haven't had your take, man. We had a whole rant video on this thing, this topic. So go ahead, Mill Hustles. I mean, 5G, take it away, sir. When it really touches the ground, it's going to be as 4G is going to be 3G and so on and so on and so on. So as long as most of my phones get upgraded to it, it's just going to be a cash cow. And you're going to have to get new phones to get 5G. So none of our phones right now will run 5G. Uh-uh. Yeah. And I mean, I mean, people are already getting two and 300 megabits download speed right now on 4G LTE and LTE advanced and all like that. I mean, why does really anybody need one gigabit speeds for 5G on their cell phone? I mean, seriously. I, mean, I can understand some big business and companies need really fast, really fast internet, stuff like that for, but, just for general, nah. I think it's pointless and waste of money and everything. That's just that's just my opinion. I mean, if I ain't ever forced to get it, I won't have it. I mean, what we get eight megabits per second on cricket, and it works just fine. Yeah. Let's see. And sometimes I get faster than eight megabits on cricket. Mm-hmm. On the other yeah. You know what's I'm funny though? You know what's funny though? One thing that I've one thing that I've noticed, and which is stupid in my opinion, is the fact that when I had the unlimited two plan, I was getting, of course, three megabits download, but I always got at least eight to nine megabits upload speeds. Now that I'm on the C seller plan. I'm getting eight to nine megabits download speed, but a max of like three or four megabits upload. It's weird. Maybe we yeah, need to go us, back to that limited two plan. And maybe us, un- upload is more important than download, to be honest. Exactly. I mean, right here where I'm sitting, I done a test before I before I joined in. And my upload was like two and a half to three megabits. And used to be on the unlimited two plan, I was getting a steady eight here. So I'm not sure why the more expensive plan you're getting sore upload speeds. It makes no sense to me. We'll we'll do, we'll do a little live. We'll do a little live test, speed test. This is on Cricket Cricket uh, Wireless. Uh oh, if, if you can even find it. All right, here we go. I can't run mine on that. Cricket right now. Here we go. Let's see. I'm running my hotspot, so let's see what it says here. Let's see what it does. Hey, let's see what we got. What do we got so far? Four. That's what like two bars of service. Almost five. About five and you, megabytes down. You, so there you go. About five megabytes down. Uploads kind of struggling a little bit there. Wow. Maybe I'm using the wrong the wrong app, huh? So about five megabytes down. Yeah, but look, but look at how much stuff you have power, you know. 
Oh yeah, yeah. I have little John playing on YouTube. I'm streaming. I'm watching comments on the phone. All types of stuff. I'll do the open signal one as well. I mean, my latency here for cricket. I mean, with I mean, I know that on Bing it's just a whole lot lower, but mine is around forty in my area. There you go. Here's another. Here's another. We'll do another another test here. On uh, this is on the open signal app. Let's see what happens here. So there we go. Four point. Uh, four. Okay, fives. There we go. So and I'm powering a lot of stuff here. The stream and all that. So, and my uploads are. Look at that. See, yeah, my uploads is a little struggling. You know, probably. So, what, so there you go. So five point four download, one point two, one point two five upload, and fifty seven ping. Yeah, so that's not bad for everything that you're pulling on on cricket. I mean, that AT and T is strong. though. AT and T does seem to have a does maintain, in my opinion, a very strong signal. You know, compared to other. I mean, like 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 Total Wireless or Verizon here at my house is very inconsistent. I can be getting twenty download one minute and ten the next. Sometimes five the next. Sometimes up to twenty five the next. So I mean, it's it's very inconsistent in my area. I don't uh, know. And, what are your favorite uh, speed test applications to use? Uh, I use well. I I used to, well. I tried out Bing since you talked about Bing. However, it never gets my upload speeds. It's like it's always just like a hundred kilobits uploads. All it ever shows. Um, hmm. it, 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 it's, it's it's just like thirty five or forty megabits download, which I, which I know is not true. Um, but so it's, it's, it's just like 35 megabits download speed, which, like I said, it's, I know it's not true. Only like 100 kilobits upload. So I use speedtest.net. I use the open open signal, stuff like that. A lot of times when I'm doing speed tests. You know, I don't know if it's me, but there's times where I feel like just when I log into my phone and just search things like the speed test, I feel like for some reason... It's just slow because I used my login. Like something just doesn't work right just because I am using, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. It's just, I, it's just really weird. Yeah, speed tests I are kind of... I feel like sometimes my phone doesn't get... Speed tests are kind of rigged, I think, sometimes too. Or they're kind of funky. Okay, so, so right now, I'm not on, on an unlimited plan right now, but I'm getting 43 upload... Or forty three download on cricket and upload is seven point forty three. Wow. Huh. But this is not an unlimited plan. Oh. Wow. I mean, yeah, the fastest speed that I, that I've got on a phone so far was for Metro PCS. Um, do you when you do you ever feel like just because you're using the application CV? It just doesn't work for you. Like the phone knows, oh, it's CV tech, so it's not gonna. We're not gonna let it work, right? Yeah. <laughs> Sometimes. Sometimes. <sighs> Weird. Yeah. I wish. I, I really do wish Metro worked at my house. Like you, don't know how bad I wish it worked here oh, because I'd be so me happy. Too. Me too, man. Me too, because I'm telling you, man. Metro, I, I mean, ver Metro is very consistent when you're in a very good area. But when you, but once you get to the country areas, man, it's just like it just. I mean, I still cut on my Metro phone sometimes, and it's still showing absolutely no service uh, in my area. And even T-Mobile Maps took me out of the coverage area. So, <laughs> I mean, that's pretty sad. What do you get when you when you when you fire up the Metro at your house, John? Metro, uh, I get. I'll show you right now, actually. Did you ever unlock that Blade Z? Of course, unlocked every phone. No, no. I... The unlockingcompany.com, you know, our sponsor, bro. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. True. That's what I get right there. So I get two bars with 4G LTE service. With Metro but does it stay like that? Yes. Nah, it doesn't. See I where I get, am. Go ahead, CV. You I'm, go ahead. I might get one bar of service, but when I touch the phone, 
no service that goes. Where I'm at, I get one bar of LTE or nothing. It's either one bar of LTE or that little ball on top of the signal bars that's spinning. Mm -hmm. I get nothing. So I had to have um, Wi-Fi calling working in order for me to be able to have cricket at home. And if I didn't get signal, I couldn't connect to Wi-Fi calling or E911. Yeah. Um, in my area, like I say, whenever I had, if I leave the phone sitting for a while, it'll go into one bar service with 2G. I touch the phone and it goes back into no service period. And I, <laughs> I'm thinking, seriously, I mean, I mean, it's just ridiculous. I mean, they really need to get their act together. You know, and the only reason I kept going to Metro was because of the free phones. And they have they have such good phones. And honestly, I believe that a lot of these carriers today, all they really care about is their, is getting the 5G network up and running. They, don't, they really don't care about towers in certain certain back areas. Like, you know, I mean, my area here, I live in an area where it's just really screwed up. And, you know, Sprint's very choppy here uh, with really no data at all. Metro has nothing here. Uh, AT&T has good good data at my house but call qual but calls are kind of hit and miss at times uh i do notice that whenever i'm on band 12 at my house i can make phone calls clearly but when i'm on band 17 i get i can't hardly make a, make a phone call which is ridiculous oh uh, we got we got the hater crew out man guys go ahead and leave some likes on the video please to go ahead and counteract that man we got i don't know what is this dude's problem man try i'm literally like Literally, I mean, it's like they're trying to hurt like a like an autistic child, man. That's who this channel is for, guys. But, Twenty-one likes and seventeen dislikes. That's for, just, yep. It's ridiculous, dude. Like, why? Like, literally, man. That's crazy, man. To me, and literally, all we're doing is a little bit. Right. Love take forty-seven. What's up, man? What's with the dislikes? Hot. <laughs> Good question. <laughs> that means somebody literally had a. Like, click a dislike and go to a different account. Click a dislike, go to a different account. You had to go to, like, 16 different accounts, bro. Uh, Anthony Owens, like I, like I was just saying about with, with Cricket, and, and voice, it's funny because there's a couple of towers around my area, and one's the band 12, and one's the band 17. When I'm hooked to the band 12, call qualities, I mean, call, make, make phone calls all day. Band 17, it struggles, which is really weird. If I could just hook into band 12, I'd be fine. But when it, but it hooks into band 17 a bit more, so phone calls are very hit and miss. Hmm. Boost, mobile, boost phones are impossible to unlock. Uh, yeah, you can flash them, though, to Verizon. But flashing is a heck of a process. I used to flash hmm. all the time. I just I, I just don't even get into it anymore. Flashing away. That's so weird though, using a like Verizon prepaid with a boost phone. Oh my god. Let me <laughs> tell you. But, yeah. but I mean in, in in town, I can use all four carriers with no issues, no problem whatsoever. Just want to get down here. My area, I can go that way a mile. I can go that way a mile. I can go that way a mile, and service is fine with all four carriers. It's just right here is dead spot. The only thing that really gets out very good and clear all the time is Total Wireless, Verizon, you know, all those Verizon affiliates, whatever. But it has to be Verizon. The only reason why Verizon is good here is because Altel had good service here, and whenever Altel got bought out by Verizon, they took the towers over here. So if it wasn't for that, Verizon wouldn't even be good here. Most likely. So, yeah. All I know is wherever I move to next, I need to have all four carriers working. When I lived That's in Florida, everybody worked perfectly at my house except T-Mobile and Metro. <laughs> can, can somebody explain uh, better than I can about the bands? Like says, CB Tech, what is banned on cell towers? Can somebody explain that better than I can? Uh, well, you're... Your phone has different antennas in it, basically, to pick up different bands or whatever. And, you know, the bands that basically carry the signal, 
Bands will make her dance. Bands will make her dance. There you go. Bands will make her dance. That's what this what it is. Now, <laughs> now you got to look it up. Guys. You got to look it up and Google it, guys. It takes like I was an I was a radio man in the Navy for twelve years, and it just it it would take a long time to actually explain it. Oh, like, so you had your own podcast there? I wish, right? No, a radio man like I actually did HF, R, R, UHF, SHF. I dealt with satellites. I actually like VHS. Yeah, <laughs> VHS. This guy, man. <laughs> I was a radio tech, basically. So, so before yeah. Magic Tech Review was Radio Tech Review. That was a. That's an ancient art, guys. Yeah. There's a uh, yeah. If it wasn't for having to have root, I would disable band seventeen definitely. Uh, well, there's a way to get in. There's a way to get into the phone or whatever. I I made a video about it, and you can just like pick and choose. But I don't think you can pick and choose the bands though. Because band seventeen here. How do you feel about unlock me. chips? About what? Unlock, unlock chips? Yeah, I hate them personally, but. You know what unlock chip is, CV? No. Basically, instead of going through the unlocking process through your carrier or paying someone like the unlockingcompany.com to unlock your phone, there's a little black chip that you connect to your that you attach to your SIM card and it, your phone. The only problem is if you reset your phone, like hard reset it or get some kind of software updates on certain devices, It'll uh it it'll disable the chip, and to get back to the home screen, you have to insert whatever the original carrier uh, SIM card was. Wow! So basically, you can use like a Sprint iPhone, like iPhone six or iPhone five or whatever. You put this little, you put this little uh, chip type thing, and it, it right inside, right under your SIM card or whatever. It's it's crazy looking. And it's actually an antenna itself. Hmm. Yeah. Yes, yeah, my area does help. That's the only thing. If you reset your phone or do like an iOS update, it'll disable the chip. <laughs> but yeah, Anthony Owens, my area does have a lot of trees. A lot of trees. Right now, it's, everything seems to get out better in my area because you know, it's winter and all the trees are pretty much you know, bare. But I don't know, man. Anthony, 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 oh, CV. Bushes, bro. He might be in that. He might be in them trees or them bushes. CV, time to fire up that chainsaw. Yeah, I know, right? This is for every single time I had a drop call. <laughs> hey, what if what if Anthony Owens is like knocking on the door, like, "Hey, CV, it's me, Anthony Owens, bro. Open up the door. I want to <laughs> say hi." Well, <laughs> what would you greet him with? <laughs> I don't know. What if it was John Ledger? <laughs> I'd be like, uh, need a signal antenna around here somewhere. Oh, you know me. I'm an MTR ninja, so I greet him. I greet him with the with the blade. Might get the master sword. I don't know. I'd be like, okay, uh, I need four things from you, John. First things first. I need a signal booster here. Second, I need a high five figure job. Third, I need a Galaxy S8 unlocked. At fourth, I need an iPhone 8 Plus unlocked as well. Yeah, man. That's what's up right there. You can probably do that. And That's a private jet to see us. I really wanted to go, by the way, if you guys couldn't tell. It, it'd, been, it'd been nice, wouldn't it? It'd been nice to have been able to go. Yeah, or at least get the invite. Yeah, at least an invite. What if, what if I was just a regular guy like I am, and I just went up there and say, "Hey, I want to go in here and look at stuff." You can. You can buy a ticket. How much were tickets? I don't know. Probably like forty-five, fifty bucks. I'm not sure. Do they accept bridge pay? Bridge pay. Let's see, I'll, I'll look it up right now. 
The only problem with that, though, then then you got to fly there, which is going to cost you. And you got to fly back, which is going to cost you. Then you got to get a place to stay, which is going to cost you. So <laughs> that's all right. I'm sure Amazon is going to make some kind of drone that carries people and cut out the <laughs> airline business too. Oh yeah. Since they're everywhere, that Amazon effect. Oh my God. It's actually three hundred dollars. Exhibits plus pass. This is the basic CES attendee registration pass. It offers access to show floor stages and free conference tracks. Starter conference pass. Access select conference tracks showcasing emerging trends. Perfect for those looking to catch a few sessions. Nine hundred dollars. Deluxe conference pass. Access five full days of conferences. Programming, get the most flexibility to attend a variety of sessions or tracks. Ah, Lee, $1,700, man. Mm. How much the presidential pass that gives me one of every item in there? Man, for $1,700, man, I'm going to have some sticky fingers around them, <laughs> around them uh, devices, bro. I'm, I'm taking me home something, boy. If I pay $1,700, I'll go see some, something. I'm taking me a doggy bag home. You're basically paying seventeen hundred dollars to go to a a super fancy Best Buy. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> CB, would you pay seventeen hundred dollars just to go look at stuff? No, not a, no, not a, absolutely not. If I'm gonna pay seventeen hundred dollars, I'd better be under the sea exploring the Titanic. <laughs> nah, seventeen hundred dollars. They better no. I don't think so. Oh my god! No way! I would fly in an unmanned drone. Wow. <sighs> Un I wonder if Amazon's drone. invented invisible suits yet. Then I'd go. <laughs> oh, I got an SNES Classic now, bro. Did I tell you? No. Nah. Oh uh, no! I don't think so. Yeah, I found one last week. Wow. I went to Walmart. Uh, to a different Walmart last night, and I seen two or three uh, SNES classics. I thought, wow. Yeah, they're but actually I out now. Yeah, but I haven't seen the any the regular NES classic, which I which I'm gonna get, I'm gonna get if they re release them, I'm gonna definitely get one. Oh, they're discontinued. Well, well, I heard that they're bringing them back this year. Hmm. I heard the N64 classic is this year. Oh. oh. I don't know if anybody here plays Lost Souls, but by the way, Nintendo Direct Mini, uh, which was number one trending on YouTube, a, uh, they had a 15-minute little conference, and Dark Souls is coming to the Nintendo Switch. Now, and another thing that's supposed to come out this year also, and, I, and it's from Nintendo, not no third party, like the retro people, um, a rechargeable Game Boy Classic. Huh. But um, I had an NES Classic and I ended up selling it. Um, I didn't sell it scalper price though. I sold it for what I got it for because I'd never played it. I was bored with it, and I only played with like two games. But the NES SNES Classic is staying. Man, CB, if I would have seen those two or three though, I think I would have been tempted to be like, ah, mom, I need you to buy some for me, brother. I need you to get something. And three different people, three different transactions. Yep. Wait, says uh, Anthony Short says I always feel sketchy when giving my IMEI to check compatibility. Where where are you talking about? Why? But to what company? What are they talking about? Like when they're checking to see if something when they do a BYOD or if they buy an IMEI or a buy an IMEI, buy a used phone. Yeah, see that's why I won't I, I don't do unlocks on eBay. Yeah, they might be cheap, but Giving your way your IMEI to some random stranger you, on eBay, you know, bro. Honestly, they the got people that I, stuff. when you go through the unlocking company or whoever you go through, they're about the same price as the eBay people. And those companies do not sell E4 unlocks. Only eBay does. Yeah. I mean, honestly, to me, I mean, if I unlock a phone on eBay for like a couple of dollars, I make sure it's from a reputable seller that's got like two or three thousand codes already sold and i read all the feedback make sure that all the feedback is good 
and has a, they have like, they have like a very good record. So I don't just I don't go to just any eBay seller and say, okay, I'm gonna get my phone unlocked here. Yeah, but the best place to go is unlockingcompany.com. Wink, wink, wink. <laughs> Hashtag sponsor. <laughs> hey, what's up, Justin Lane? What's going on? Thank you for the dollar donation. No, it's not. Uh, so in five minutes, it'll be tomorrow, uh, CV. So we'll be waiting for that unboxing video the next few minutes. Actually, it'll, it'll probably be another 12, 12 hours for its release. So. <laughs> <laughs> Chris Stevenson. No, nah, man. I wouldn't, I wouldn't trust that, man. No, nah, because cause them iPhone 6 and 6S, them things are extremely slick. And I'm telling you. They make it that I way, mean, bro. It's like they grease them up just for that purpose, bro. I tell you, man. Now, now my SC ain't that slick. I can hold it, but I mean, it's so small. It's just you know. But I still I, or run the house. I take it out of the case because, yeah. But when I go anywhere, there's a case on on this thing. Man, the car companies, they need to learn from the uh, phone companies, start making their cars out of glass. <laughs> so they can... yeah, if you have a wreck, it is shatter. Yep. They say it's a, it's a safety feature or whatever, and then mm -hmm. you can just buy a new well, car. Let's see, right let's see, there's more give in glass. You know, I mean, you know, we, we hit something, it's just give, but yeah. <laughs> Justin Lake says, "I like I feel behind." What you mean? Oh, hmm. Larry Gary says, "Very bad times at Krausers tonight. They're selling dry dog food with maggots in it." Anybody know what they're talking about? Nope. Chris Stevenson, yeah, give it some air. Yeah, okay. Nope. iPhones were meant to be put in a case. That's why they make them so fragile. They have like they basically do that, guys, to make to sell those accessories. Like that's so their John, where should yeah. people buy their iPhone accessories? Oh, definitely not at not just playing. Uh I heard I heard there's a pretty cool company, man. What's the what's the name of the company? I don't remember, bro. Nah, rockbottomcases.com. <coughs> oh yeah, that's them. <coughs> if, if they ever opened up. <coughs> you mean reopened. <coughs> oh my god, yeah. If they ever really the owner of that store is a total like Dweep. pimp, just freaking an amazing person. He's almost a god. Oh, oh my god. Don't get all don't get all choked up, John. Oh my god. <laughs> I don't know. I just I vaped it the wrong way. <laughs> oh, I thought for a second you had a wedgie or something. <laughs> oh my god, that was the that was the worst. Nah, what it wasn't a dry head or not. I don't know what the heck I just did there. I get all my cases from eBay. I just do. No, I mean, no, 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 no. It's telling you, man, you're gonna like this place. Rockbottomcases.com. It's, it's it's the best. Wink, wink. It's the best. <laughs> Trust me. <sighs> I mean, Don't cases as you. Okay. I mean, I mean, I've, I've literally seen some cases in stores cost like thirty bucks. I can go on eBay for the same case, same name brand for like five or six dollars. Oh like, yeah. Okay. And they're brand new, sealed, and they look. This is in the, so yeah. All my cases come from eBay. Sure enough. And then if you yeah, want more sales, phonejuice.com, the best. The best. Phonejuice.net. 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 Hashtag, maybe sponsored. <clears throat> yeah, 
Yeah, Walmart sells iPhone cases also. Yeah, but they're like really expensive. Like the lowest price when you'll find like 20 bucks for a decent one. Um, some are like up to 50, 60, 70 dollars just for a case. I'm like, hey, yeah, that's not going to happen. Whenever I buy an otter box, like a real otter box or a life proof case, I always get it at Target because Target price matches Amazon and Walmart. Wow. Okay. But it has Wilson, to be Amazon no. selling it. David Wilson, I'm not. I'm not kidding. David Wilson, it's going to be a, a new sponsor coming to the channel that I highly recommend and trust. I wonder if they'll be interested in sponsoring CV. But CV said he only buys cases at eBay. But yeah, you know, a sponsor might change his mind. We'll see. <laughs> I hope C I hope CV catches on. Maybe. I think I'm beginning to. Okay. <laughs> oh man. But yeah, yeah. Uh, definitely, man. We're gonna we gonna we gonna show y'all some some dope cases here in the future. Oh man. They might even have some magic tech cases up there. Who knows? <laughs> But yeah, man, CV Tech. What is your logo, bro? Your face? Hmm? You need to make a logo, bro. I know, right? I thought you had a logo at one time. No, mm -mm, never did. Oh, it's always been your face. Yeah, logo. Have it like and like, kind of like your MTR, but be CVT and being red. Ah, uh, with a beard, bro. You should have it with a beard growing on there. <laughs> Slim Shady, where you at? Yeah. You should oh, you should have the C and then the V, bro, with the with the beard growing from it. Tell there you me. go. <laughs> you should shave your beard into a V. To a V, yeah. And remove v. the mustache too. And then and then just oh, draw a big nah. draw a big C across <laughs> your face. And then just have a V right there. I'm like I'm C V tech. Yeah. <laughs> How many subs will it take you to shave your eye an eyebrow? I don't know. I, I don't know. I never thought about it. <laughs> <laughs> what about you, John? Me? Oh, I'm I'm cheap. Yeah, it grow back. Yeah, I'll grow back. How Some many subs will it take you to shave your eyebrow? Right now, I'm shaving it off right now. Oh, bro! Someone will pay that. Where's uh, what's his name at? That one guy, Elvis. Elvis, Elvis lives here. Yes, don't, don't Elvis, send bro. <laughs> <laughs> don't send the three hundred. <laughs> MTR case reviews. Seven days. Larry got Larry Gary. Seven days was seven. Oh God! Like the the ring. Seven days. You have seven days to live. There one. Derwin. I need to get a very comfortable chair. I'm telling you, my back is killing me. Oh man, you need to you need to hit up. Uh, I need to look up the company, but they sent me this chair that I'm sitting in. I have no room, much in my little tiny space to put a chair. Oh, and I can. You probably have like hundreds of phone boxes next to your bed that takes up half your room too. No, actually, I don't. <laughs> really? I I just got I got I got everything put. One little area, so uh, okay, tucked away. So yeah. Hey, CV. One of these days, you should show us your box full of uh, phone cables and bases. Oh wow! Mine's a whole Nike shoebox. Hey, where 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 can we get uh cables at? No hustles. I heard there's a place to get some really cool cables. Phonejuice.net. <laughs> You mean I can get? Yeah, I start actual, shopping at that site. You mean they, I can? They, actually, you mean I can actually get real cables from real manufacturers like LG, Samsung, and Motorola? 
Yep. Wow. Um, I uh, you You know, and also people, they they are uh, under reconstruction or something. But when I was shopping there, yeah, everything that I got there was LG ZTE brand, like nothing off brand, which was great. Um, Rock just in, is not open yet. Yeah, just go ahead and send them an email or put your email in there. And when, as soon as it opens up, it'll send you an email. Justin Lang says, well, my best be locked to T-Mobile and only work on T-Mobile if I did not pay it off. Well, uh, now that I don't know. If it's not paid off. Your device I'm, I'm, might get bricked completely. Because I know that I, I have my Moto E4 prepaid on Metro. And you know, after three months, they'll unlock it for you. But I only I only use it for one month and never and just never paid the bill again. So I so it was it was always active but never any money on it. And they actually the other day I checked the unlock on the E4 from Metro and it was and they unlocked it. But I'm like wow maybe they'll do that here on my um on my Blade Z Max soon. Man, you, you are you guys even like. A little bit scared of the whole remote lock thing or remote kill switch thing on phones. Oh, uh, now you heard about it. What is it? Well, you know, like basically, a lot of these companies they have like a kill switch, or I don't think they have it. I don't think they have it yet, or they but they could do it though. Hey, John, where's Nightbot at? Nightbot. Uh... I don't know, but I think Nightbot might need to get rid of uh, Larry Gary, whoever the heck that is. Weird, weirdo in here. Thank you, Chris. I was just about to do that. Chris is Nightbot. <laughs> this guy, man. I don't know. Probably the guy putting all this. Mm -hmm, putting all mm -hmm, this mm -hmm. So we about we about good. Yeah, I think so. All right. Anybody else got any questions, concerns, comments, gripes? Anybody else? Give us a uh, man. You got to put the HTTPS www dot so I can be a so I can come up as a link. Their mill hustles. Oh man, that's so 1995, dude. I know. Well, you know, if you don't put a link, bro, you gotta put them links, man. Make it easy for people. All right. So I guess we're all good. Um, if you haven't subscribed to CB Tech, I don't know what you're doing with your life need to rethink what you're doing um mill hustles where, where the heck can they find you at man at mill hustles on twitter and, and Instagram, on the, and on the street corner late at night with high heels but that's his uh that's his other hustle yep side hustle there you go hey anything except i'm not the one wearing the heels <laughs> there's this guy called anything for views I like that name. Anything for views. Magic tech, anything for views. Nah. Uh, all right, guys. I guess that's about that about wraps up tonight because it's midnight on our end. So stay tuned for CV Tech's mystery unboxing. Yep. Between noon and two tomorrow, Eastern time. CV, how is Pornhub doing? But is it already... Um did you already like don't forget to go incognito know, guys when you're watching that porn hub cv did you already like edit the video and upload it and oh, it's already it, in the can it's it's already on there ready to roll it's just private okay i gotta fix it up and add everything to it you know like add, add the thumbnail to it and i gotta um put all the information in there but other than that yeah it's ready to roll okay i look forward to that idol five unboxing Wish I had it. <laughs> I I would I would ask what's everybody's favorite uh favorite skin skin flick site, but I don't know, man. I might get some crazies in here. <laughs> oh. 
Want to ask? No hustle. This guy. <laughs> Might get some crazy, crazy, crazy websites in here, man. Don't, I don't need that. All right. Well, anyways, peace out, guys. Thanks for watching. John from Magic Tech Review and the rest of the crew. See y'all. There we go.